Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today we are taking a look at the brand new 2020 Thor Palazzo. This is model 33.5. The Palazzo, this Palazzo, is the smallest Class A diesel pusher on the market today. We are going to take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then I'm going to give you the three things I love about this RV and the three things I dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone, again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel that gives you a true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs. So if you find reviews like this useful, consider subscribing. And again, we are taking a look at Thor's entry-level Class A gas diesel pusher, the Palazzo. Now, model number is 33.5, but the actual tip-to-tip -tip length is 34 feet 9 inches. This is... Sorry about that, bug just flew in my nose. This is on a custom Freightliner chassis. It has the ISB 6.7 300 horsepower Cummings engine with a 2100 series Allison transmission. Uh, let's get started. Uh, full body paint standard throughout the whole RV. And you do have these nice big 22.5 inch tires. Uh, starting up front, you have a little bit of storage up front. Because this is a diesel pusher, your engine's in the back, which gives you a little bit more storage space up front. You have these nice big chrome mirrors with cameras in your left blinker and right blinker. You also have a camera in the reverse. Frameless windows throughout the whole RV. And then if you look up there, you do have an armless awning with wind sensor. What's great about that awning is, if you have it out and you forget to retract it back in, and a storm comes, the awning will automatically retract itself back in. Right here, you have a fuel station on this side and the other side, diesel fuel, 90 gallon fuel tank, and I'll have all the rest of the specifications about this motorhome down in the description below. What makes Palazzo unique is they're one of the only diesel pushers on the market that gives you a mid-entry door, not that front bus style door, which it is one of the features why I really like this. And then check out this storage. Now the Palazzo does it a little different. I kind of like it. I like how big these storage doors are right here this is the palazzo what makes the palazzo a great price is that thor uses a straight rail chassis where the aria up they'll use what's called a raised rail chassis which makes it so you get that nice pass through storage where with this straight rail it does obstruct the storage but something that i do like even though it's a straight rail chassis thor added this which is really nice it just makes it as much space as possible great coming down you do have a TV on the outside right here with sound bar that's a great big ins insignia television right here is your portable water and then here's your Philip right there here's your batteries you do have a residential refrigerator so it does have an inverter it is a 2000 watt inverter, which will be enough to keep your battery power running for your residential refrigerator. And then right here, this is a propane quick connect for if you want to bring a propane grill with you. Coming around the back, as you can see, uh, we have it parked pretty close RV show style, uh, just keeping the motorhomes an inch away from each other. But here's the back of the motorhome. You have your backup camera there. This is a mirror. Can't move it. Don't laugh at me, Will. <laughs> You're gonna do it. You're gonna make it up there. Oh, crap. I got it. All right. Let's check, go up on the roof and check it out. Up here on the roof, as you can see, it has two AC units, so you know it's a 50 amp motor home. Right there, it does come standard with a 100 watt solar panel also you can put two more solar panels up here right there's your satellite dish or no that's your wi-fi booster up there 
and then right there that's your shower sky dome also you see those caps right there those are called um i forget what they're called but they're to help reduce the odor inside your toilet area and if you haven't already make sure you hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment in the description below tell me how you like this video who else is going to go up on the roof in a video like this on 103 days to show you what the roof looks like oh shit all right i got it <laughs> great now here's the one thing about the back this has a 10,000 pound hitch but the one thing i don't like is this motorhome cannot tow 10,000 pounds what you have to do is you have to take the gvwr of the motorhome and subtract it from the gcwr the gross combined weight rating and that's how you're able to figure out how much you can tow obviously it's different you want to measure this motorhome with the people and the stuff you put inside but it's safely it's safe to assume you can tow about 6,000 pounds i hate that they put the 10,000 pound hitch there but the reason why they do that is so if you want to like transport a scooter and you need good hitch weight but it can be misleading and a lot of people might think that they can tow 10,000 pounds make sure you always check that out let's squeeze on through here will great on the driver's side this is a little air vent for the diesel engine 50 amp power again right there right here it is a tankless instant hot water heater here's where you fill up your def you're going to want to fill that up every four phillips about four to six phillips and don't worry freightliner they uh they put a gauge inside your dash so it tells you when to fill up over here this is your wet bay your black tank you got your gray and your black your fresh tank fill you can do it from here as well your water heater bypass all that good stuff with an outside shower and then this is the other side of that pass-through storage it's gonna be propane right there is it hot today will or is it just yep it is great this is a little bit more electronical components and then right there it's going to be the release for the generator oh here's what's cool you see this this actually lights up in the dark it's a pretty cool feature also get the headlights the headlights on the palazzo i love they remind me of an audi and then right here's the generator it is a diesel generator. It's a coming zone in 6,000 generator. Plenty of power for a little motorhome like this. Great. The outside of this RV looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. There first. Oh, check this out. When you get inside, you know, you want to kick your shoes off, your Eddie Bauer shoes. You just throw them in there and Eddie Bauer doesn't want to send me free stuff anymore. So they go in there for the rest of the episode. Coming inside, look at this motorhome. Again, smallest class A diesel pusher on the market today, but still very spacious. Love the mid-entry door just because it's different. And then right here you have a little recliner chair. Coming up here, the one advantage to that mid-entry door is you're able to get your computer station while driving down the road. Right there you have your doggy window, or as Will knows, it's my kitty window, and cup holders here. <sighs> Over here in the cockpit area, you have your auto leveling right there. Here's your Allison transmission, reverse neutral drive, air brakes, hear that? This air ride suspension. So when you're going down the road, it's a lot smoother ride than a gas motor home. And then right here's your GPS radio navigation, left and right blinker in reverse, shows you absolutely everything. And it's a nice big 10 inch screen. And it's in a good position. 
Too many times the manufacturers, they'll put it like over there and it just makes it useless. Also, another great feature is you get a bunk over the cab, which you don't get in very many diesel pushers. Coming throughout, if you look at the woodwork, it is very nice high gloss cabinetry, hidden hinge, and what that means is the hinges are right here, and when it's closed, you cannot see them. Uh, according to the Thor manufacturer reps, they use the same cabinetry throughout all of their diesel pusher lines. Palazzo, Aria, Venetian, and Tuscany. Over here in the kitchen area, we have these cup holders, which I'm a fan of. This drops down and makes a bed. Solid surface countertop for the uh, dinner table and your television's right here. You also have these MCD daytime shades and privacy shades. Over here, this sofa right here, it does come out to make a bed. You also have seat belts throughout here and over there. Oops, sorry Will. Forgot to mention. We do have storage right here. And no storage there. In the kitchen area, nice big dual stainless steel sink, solid surface countertop, a nice Corian material, induction cooktop right here, and check out this beautiful, huge microwave convection oven. Really nice. And then drawers. 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 Lots and lots of drawers. Here's your residential refrigerator. It is Whirlpool. Oh man, feel that. That is actually cool. That is great. Coming here to the bathroom area. You have porcelain toilet, making sure, you know, here's your bathroom area. Oh, this is what I was talking about on the roof. These are called the uh, 360 siphon roof vent caps, just to prevent that smell. And then check out this shower. This is a nice big shower. This is a 30 by 36 inch shower. Good for bigger guys and women and people and non-binaries, however you want to be called, it's good enough for you, you know? We'll be able, to, we'll make it. Hey, I don't care who you are or what you are, we go camping. That's what it's all about, right, Will? Yep. Should I edit that out? <laughs> no. Oh, okay, cool. You know, people get all PC with you these days. Listen, I don't talk politics, I just go camping. <laughs> Look at this. Stackable washer dryer, standard, throughout the whole RV. Well, not, not the whole RV, but standard washer dryer. What's great about that is when it's an option and you add it, you're pretty much throwing your money away when you trade it in. Whereas when it is a standard, you get that trading value. Okay, here's the bedroom area. You have a TV right here. I was wondering, I thought maybe it closed with the door, but it doesn't. That's pretty cool. You have this little slide out here, which is just for storage space. And then check out this bed. What I'm a fan of, far too often now, the diesel pushers, they've been making it so when the slide outs come in, you have to raise the bed up to give you more space. Whereas that makes the bed unusable while you're driving down the road. Why I like this is because even when the slide outs are in, if somebody's not feeling good, you can still lay back here and use the bed. Are you supposed to? No, everybody's supposed to be in a seat belt, but you know, great. And then over here is your, um, what are these called? End tables. There is USB chargers right there in them. And it's also a great spot for your sleep at machine. And then you have a ton of storage above the bed. Great. So that wraps up the 2020 Palazzo 33.2. It's now time for me to give you the three things I love about this motorhome and the three things I dislike about it. Oh crap, pause, show that. That's a great amount of storage right there too. Great. What should I do first? Three things you like. Okay. One's outside. 
So I'll do that one last. Three things I like about it. Let's go. That's a dislike. Hmm. Okay. Three things I love about it. First things first. And I forgot to mention this. I love this dinette area for a couple reasons. Love the cup holders. Love the solid surface countertop. It's going to make it a better sleeping experience if you do have to drop this down for your guests. And I love how it has this back thing right here, back cushion. So while you're sitting there like this driving down the road, you're comfortable. Two, it's outside. Go ahead. Right. I gotta get my shoes out of the, yeah. uh, out of the, uh, whatchamacallit. You know who I feel like right now? I'm thinking of a name. If you can guess it, I'll give you a body lunch tomorrow. I don't know. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Uh, beautiful day in the beauty booth. Hello, neighbor. <laughs> you remember that? Did you watch Mr. Rogers growing up? Damn, I feel like an old man. Well, Mr. Rogers would sing It's a Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, and he'd put his shoes on just like that. Cool. Number two thing I love about this motorhome is right here. One, this big storage door. Two, the slide-out tray right here. Like, all this area is kind of unusable, and Thor took that extra step to put that there, which is awesome. And what was the third thing? Oh, duh, main entry door. Mm -hmm. Main entry door on a diesel pusher is so rare, hard to find. Not everybody likes that bus style door. Big, big plus to the main entry door. Now the three things I don't like. Ten thousand pound hitch. Set it on the outside. I do not like the ten thousand pound hitches. Again, I feel like they're misleading. There's too many, as you guys know, if you went to any RV dealership, there's too many uneducated RV salesmen, and they're in, in, in the keyword salesman, right? So you know, we don't have like the best reputation. So they're gonna tell you 10,000 pounds, but you can tell, you cannot. Don't tow 10,000 pounds with this motorhome. Make sure you know that. Crap, are you kidding me? What? This whole time I've been saying 33.5. It's 33.2. My bad, y'all. I'm not reshooting this. It's 110 degrees. You're, we're keeping the video, Will. <laughs> Show this. That's the temperature right now. Plus humidity. You know how whenever somebody goes to Las Vegas, they're all like, it's dry heat? Well, this is Maryland. This is wet heat. Here's number two. You see this? This is kind of stupid. I don't know why they did that. You see that? Like you can't even... Oh, yeah, break my freaking camera. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like this. I don't get this piece of wood. They should take that out. You know, because you can't even... You know, like your finger's going to get stuck. It's stupid. And number three is... I don't even know what number three. What do you think, Will? Third thing. I don't, know, this I don't is like about actually it. actually pretty nice. Another one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think there was a number three. Oh, okay. This is kind of an unfair number three. Let's go back outside. It's kind of unfair, but whatever. So, I'm not a fan of these fiberglass slam latch doors. You know, I'm a fan of what's called the aluminum slam latch doors. I just like them better than this. But again, Thor kind of complements it with big storage. So this is a positive and a negative. Um, but I really much rather have had the aluminum slam latch doors. But again, it's all about price point with the Palazzo. But that wraps it up. Thanks so much for checking out this video. If you have any questions about this RV or any other RVs, send me an email. It's mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit those thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Let me know the three things you loved about this motorhome or the three things you didn't like about this motorhome. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.